I'm leaning on this tip up mound here. There's a species here, yellow birch, which is specifically adapted to capitalize on this disturbance. Yellow birch can't really grow through the leaf litter in a forest. So whenever we see yellow birch, it's an indicator that soil disturbance occurred that allowed this species to grow. A lot of times when people see logging, they're initially shocked by the amount of disturbed soil and too much soil disturbance causing root damage and compaction and deep ruts can be a really bad thing. But a little bit of soil disturbance is what we call scarification. Just the superficial disturbance of that soil can create opportunities for different species of trees like yellow birch and also Eastern hemlock and white pine to establish. When foresters manage forests, we think a lot about light. How do we create enough light to grow an aspen tree? Or how do we create shady conditions that might be good for growing a hemlock tree? But it's also important to remember that there are different tree species that might need soil disturbance. And by not just creating variability in the light conditions, but also the soil conditions, we can manifest a diversity of different tree species.